Welcome back to the National Hockey Centre here in Glasgow as we move away from the women's competition and their focus for the next couple of games this afternoon is the European Cup over 60s of this Grand Masters competition and their focus is on Group B. We'll have Italy against Wales later on but our first match here is the Netherlands against Germany. So let's look at the sides then and for the Dutch team well, their captain is Martin van Rijn, who will be number 20. Gerard van Sprang is the goalkeeper. And the Dutch got off to a winning start in the opening game. Three points out of three. They had a big 8-0 win against Italy. For Germany, it was a draw for them in the opening game. They have one point from their opener be looking to get their first win in the tournament under the goalkeeper who may well be busy with a talented Dutch team is Reinhard Bilhofer and the captain is Michael Merglis and the coach Thomas Donner will be looking to get his side onto winning ways today Germany's opening game was a one-all draw against Wales. So the Dutch going off to a flying start with their eight goals. The German scorers in that game against Wales included a goal from Kunt, Lothar Berger, and and so uh, Krumling. the Germans in their white and black to get us going. Dutch has ever in the vibrant orange. Some early possession for Jana Weefers in the number 12 jersey. Quickly giving back though Jochen Bornman. for Dutch side good drive into the D here from Martin van Rijn the captain out to the other edge of the D but the Germans will get this one back Frank Snechlager was trying to keep it alive. Number 15 in the back of him, the Dutch player. Peter Roth with impressive hairdo across to Wolfram at Kunt. This ball, it's rattled towards the D. And clean air. Couldn't find Norris player close though. from Heinz Krumling. Chef Van Gael 
It was backwards here for the Netherlands. But Zander Moulin. Refers forward for Deidre Klopp. Challenge came in from Kuntz again. Who's there? Hills are and Kuntz drunken up. There's a stinger for Van der Moulin. Turn for Ruta Van Til. Support to the left. Van Til goes straight into Peter Roth. Coming together early on between the two players. Free hit taken quickly. And Gale. A bit too quickly, I think. It goes Van Giel and shot driven in by Dedrick Klopp and the uh, turnover of possession but a couple of snap efforts there from uh, Netherlands. Again by Van Heel. Van Heel's ball again cuts out Peter Roth again. On the chase is Miroslaw Manka. Very much Dutch in pro prominent possession in this early stages of the first quarter. Say thank you to the age of the circle for hard crooning. Here come the Dutch again, ball for Van Keel. Is that going to be a penalty corner? I think against the Wolfram Kuntz. And it is going to be the first chance from this situation for the Dutch, who have had the majority of the play so far in the opening stages of this contest. Van Keel and Van der Moulin on the central positions just behind is and Clarver into the, the right side. Taken in for Van Keel, set up and smothered Van Moulin with the effort to go and then the turnover of possession in the deep. from Sneth Blaggett. 
But they're all driven as by the goal by anyone in orange. Frank Weaver is the Netherlands coach down on the sidelines. The animated one at the moment is Thomas Donner. Just below where we are to the right, the German coaching and playing the subs are. White, but second water from Guild sets it. Cross from Borman, just away from Miroslav Manka. across as the Dutch try and think of the next attack. Hans Joachim on the line trying to get it away. Here he is now. I heel it's a bad down. Wriggling the way by. Staying our people the whistle from the umpire. Looking for an option, went backwards. Just calmly passing around the edge of the 23. Slip for Volta Van Til. Leafers trying to wriggle by Borman. Cruising in to the circle. Again, just in the middle of clearance. Michael Mouge is just trying to help it away. And Germans have it back here. With them quite a lot of. I wouldn't say storm because there's not been. Balls rattled into the D constantly, but certainly the Dutch possessional hockey that I've seen them do throughout the year so well. Fair for Rolf Schusch. Milgaz's pass wasn't one of his better ones, but they do have the free hit to Germany. Quickly stopped for the Germans Dutch now. Might well feel they can break. Did it wriggle up off the body? It did. The pass. Fortunate interception there from Ralph Van Cleveren.
No space now. Van Ryn. Was he taken out illegally? Piece of off could be in. Bit of bother here. Penalty corner. And there's going to be a colour of card. Which will be green. I think one or two mum ones around saying the shake of the head. Maybe a bit lucky to just get a green, but a little under three minutes left of the quarter. See what he's trying to do, I guess. That cycle play a bit breaks it up. We do have a penalty corner. A blind character, Peter Roth, and he's off to have a little rest. The umpires are having a good chat to you. Officials incidentally are Antonio Tolomei from Italy and Barry Anderson of England. So another Dutch penalty corner. Trapped by Van Keel, crossed by De Moulin, and De Moulin I should say. And then the goal scored. And it has been coming. The breakthrough for the Dutch with two and a half minutes left of the quarter. then have a deserved lead. Germans have been put under a heck of a lot of pressure. And just double checking it was Volter Van Til. It was the one in and behind to get it. Fourth goal already of the competition for Van Til. trying to launch into the circle it's in the final few seconds of this first quarter we'll come back for the long corner Van der Mullen crinning Clavering back and it's just canny stuff as the Netherlands have the lead at the end of the first quarter as the hitter goes and Rutter Van Til with the only goal in the 30th minute the Dutch have a deserved lead
Okay then, in the second quarter to begin, Dutch get us started. And they have the lead in the score, they've had all the play pretty much so far. Intense German team top to the right. What's going on during that couple of minutes? Oh, Thomas Turner. Arm out for the Germans. Cross from Berger. Pressure there was Berger. Here comes Van Gaal. Van Gaal continuing. Peter off trying to get a stick in the air again. Back on right at the end of that quarter, last quarter. Having a good old chat with the umpire. Play on here, Van Gaal. Twisting, turning, and penalty corner signalled. German's not happy at all. Come on, lads. A bit feisty. Crooning across to check this time. And heal him other mulling in the pockets again. And it's gonna be another mulling across for Van Til. And away by he goes, looking for his second. Certainly the real player to watch out for Wilter Van Til. <laughs> Dedrick Klopp into the circle, controlled by Van Til, tried to turn. to make sure it's in the right spot. Oh, it is a, a Dutch, Dutch ball. I don't know what the Germans were doing there. They carry on. We first with it in. Oh! Ball skipped up. Van Rijn, I think it was, it did come off his stick and was nearly go words. Space on up again for the Netherlands. Ball fired in. TJ Borstlap couldn't get quite close enough. Thumbs up though for the ball in. for the old guys. Off went for power this time but only found Van Keel. Just ahead of Van Claver in that ball. Henk Janssen trying to keep it in his path but it is a German free hit from deep. Uh, 
Marcus Bolt. No space. Harry Hurzer and just behind Krumling. That's the first sign of a break the Germans had. Two or three breaking forwards. But unfortunate for the German supporters. There's a few of the squad and other teams around watching from both sides actually. As well as some of the other players have been involved across the two pitches here. Of course, action right across Glasgow. Most of them, the three pitches today, in fact, the two here at Clydesdale. University of Strathclyde's got some more games later in the week. Thank you, trying to twist up the pace. Master well, choose to get that back, but no one there for that pass. for Bournemouth. And Dutch gets it back again. Worst lap. Worst lap to Weinhold. Schuss in front. Manka. Free hit to the Germans. the side in white and black but good tackle said the umpire and away they come might actually see some space here the Netherlands longer it was to Krinling he's a bit annoyed with that one Trish's ball dispossessed. Scorer Van Til. Loft was the idea. Taken down by Roth. Gail for Kroening again. Gold van der Moulin. Felix's ball stopped only for the brief moment. Still stays with the side that are leading. So you're looking to get some vengeance in this competition. Lost out in the final. Been a few changes of players since the final a couple of years ago against England in England. But the station there in England winning in a shootout. Now she's winning the free hit. Right to take it a few metres in front of where it should have been taken. But Germany looking for an equaliser. Klaus Gilt sets it. Help to its main by Bornman. Neil 
Milgaes, the German captain, making sure he was in the right position. And it went towards Schuch, but we out it went, unfortunately, for the, the German side. Five minutes until half time. for guild sets at and for the aerial route something a bit different not quite working out though for Henning van Wolf that was down there in that corner the Germans and quickly for Wolfram Kurtz into the edge of the D. Klaus Schmidt. And again, just a little hurried. There are some positive signs for the German outfit that stem the, the Dutch possession that they had for the majority of that first quarter. and even Stevens second quarter. Akil trying to spiral himself away. Umpire's gonna stop things here and show another card in the game. And the German's gonna be down to ten for another couple of minutes. Lothar Berger green carded. German free hit just inside the touch half, but they're going to go all the way back. Is that in the plan, Rick? Oh, Dicey. Who from Kuntz came off the Dutch leg? Guild sets to try to get away that time, but they put themselves under all sorts of problems here. Janssen flings it across. Daniel Leifers and Claverin and wriggles by. I think one or two in that German defence will be slightly relieved about that. I think the initial three hits back was, was part of the plan.
This is going to wriggle through for Borman. Oh, shin pad goes loose, but Jeremy could be in. Miroslav Manka, free hit taken quickly. Final few seconds. Smashed across by Borman. And they went unfortunately there. Little slide. That comes to the end of that. A definite encouragement for Germany. I've shown that they have it. The gears to go up and have had a bit more possession. They are behind though at half time to the Netherlands. Walter Van Til's fourth goal of the competition already. The difference between the two sides. It was a well taken sticky one in at the back post to score in the 13th minute. We'll leave you with the best of the action from the first period. And that is the half time score. Netherlands 1, Germany 0.
Welcome back then for the third quarter. Netherlands 1, Germany 0. Here's the score. This is the over 60s European Cup. We're in Group B. This is our main focus for this game and our next contest. Italy take on Wales. Italy have had two tough defeats. Lots of goals conceded. We'll see if Wales can can you a, a good slap from the first game or if Italy can cause a surprise perhaps and maybe get themselves to their first win of the competition. But we're gonna focus on this one for the moment. And thanks for joining us on our live coverage if you're watching on YouTube and our Facebook. I am Callum Patterson. Netherlands playing from deep. They had a very good first quarter possession. Got the goal in second quarter. It was more 50-50. Germans came into it. Had one or two glimpses that they can score. Klaus Gilds it's a dispossessed. Right, hills it. And the Mullen making the run forward. Now the Dutch try to wriggle the space. Oh, that looked so compelled to corner it, given, of course. The whole Bill Hofer was quicker to his feet, maybe with all the powder, like a bit of a stinger to the head. Shake of the hands. I've got a pair to corner from this. Bart Kuning with the chance. I think it might have been, I think it was Van Til, the one that took the sore onto the face. Just hold on to his head at the moment, but it will be Bart Kuning to inject here. First pair to corner of this second half. And Mullen is going to get this, and just why? Aguil trapped it for the player to take. And Mullen and the umpires had a quick conversation. I think one or two of the Dutch players were looking for a, another penalty corner, but it's going to be a long corner. Chef Van Gaal with uh, one corner. Here he is to try and get it back. Through the legs it went and hit the foot of Lothar Berger. Van Giel cleared. Good stuff from uh, Bowman. Clavering, it's given the German to ball. Miroslav Manka fires into the cycle away by Gerard Van Sprang. Didn't really get a chance to build an attack though, did uh, Germany's turn over possession. Van Til, loving that was uh, looked for Van Claven. Van Giel across. He comes with a good pass. Van Giel, Edric Klopp, off Roth, and then almost a flick up of Rob Van Claven.
remains with the side in the late here in this Pool B game. Adam Mullen across. Plenty of time here. Into the circle for Van Claveren. Oh, right, goes the other way. Germany will get it away. thought he had pinched that there. Well, he comes well from Kuntz. Kuntz pass only. Space here that's going to open up for Van Til. See the third quarter has been the most steadiest of the three so far. The touch maybe just slightly entering and just trying to pick out a few more spaces, but. Germany's still in this. Pills it. There go for the running hills up. Kept to the end. Maybe he didn't in the end after a few seconds delay. And the tunnel possession anyhow. But scrappy, I think, actually, from both sides since the half time break. Stayed in play for Peter Roth, who was uh, green carded at the end of the first quarter. And now further help Van Gaal. And I'm really. No, Delis forward looking for the captain Van Wright. Those are top of Germany getting sticks coming at him all over the place. Uh, his ankles, but managed to get it away to some safety. But Germany not quite finding the little attacking breaks that they did maybe in the second quarter. Now the opening game for Germany was the draw against Wales. Gill's going to get this one back. Three out 
Ritchie rattles into the D and effort a goal from Robin Claverant, kicked away by Reinhold Bill Hilfert. And Claverant into the circle, but no one in the orange getting a touch. Still the Netherlands with the lead here. Potentially to the, the scorer from uh, Dutch. It looked like it was uh, Hotter Van Til that was in behind. But uh, the technical officials below have given it to Mark Crooning at the moment, anyway. Here come the Dutch once more, looking for a second. Or slip across for Van Gaal. He's been a linkage for just about everything. Into the D he goes. Maybe he'll go try and score himself. He's got himself a penalty corner, anyway. And it is a chance for the Dutch to stretch their lead. But Grunigan, see the technical officials below us have uh, retrospectively awarded the goal to him, certainly for the moment. He did take the, the injection, of course. Maybe he was right in the post. Maybe him and uh, another player, Van Til, were there, but we shall see. That is the final decision. It looks like it if we've changed it during the game, but anyway, this is chance for. Number two from the penalty corner. And Van der Meulen took a, a neck, but way wide. I think it's starting to feel a little frustrated that the Dutch His chances are there for them with just the one goal cushion. Started off emphatically with that win against Italy. Step up in the opposition here. Let's go from Kuntz. and back to Kuntz, forward it goes for Milgez. Just a shot for Berger, but he might just get it back from Van Gaal, who's trying to take it. Hills are now. And Van Gaal just gets it wriggled up of Klopp's foot. And it goes to the clear away. It's going to appeal to corner foot. And Germany getting a chance here towards as we get closer towards the end of the third quarter. First chance we've seen really this routine during the game for the Germans and it is the captain new guys to inject. Here we're in the middle of the three in pocket, Manka to the left. There switches it. And here line away. Certainly the closest the Germans have come. They do have the long corner. But no, they don't. They thought they did, but it actually never took a touch off the Dutch side. <laughs> well, below, I don't know if you probably never quite spotted, but off camera, the uh, below us, uh, Ted Klopp, the Netherlands number 14, telling Thomas Donner, the German coach, to be quiet. <laughs> Good fun, it's been played at some uh, little tense, little heated moments, but competitive nature never leaves it. And ball and a turn from Van Rijn, just the ball skittles away from him. 
He was put in behind of Hans Jochem Turnheisen. First forward to get a ricochet, but Froth had it covered. Final 30 seconds of the quarter. Four man. Hammer and Hope. Shush was making the furthest run forward for the Germans. And here is Klopp. Van Rijn. Last chance of the quarter. Bounced up off. Arm of Bormann, but might struggle to get anything in the D so quickly. And that will end the quarter. So the Netherlands continue to have their lead. And it looks like that after a lot of confrontation, Felix Vantel won't be getting his fourth goal of the tournament. As it looks like Matt Kroening was the one in and behind to take the credit and the goal. Nevertheless, the Dutch have a lead with 15 to play. So the final 15, <laughs> Netherlands, will they hold off, will they stretch a lead or will the Germans have some master plan, some real encouragement from the German coaching team down a loss. Trying to listen intently with my limited German. So I feel real sign in that German group that they've got chance here to get something out of this. And 
the sportsmanship between Minister of Manke and Frederick Klopp. Got them come together, shake of the hands, a bit of a laugh. Reminder that next up on this pitch that follows this game is the next game from Group B in the over 60s Grand Masters European Cup. Italy, who have lost their only couple of games, are looking to maybe spring surprise against the Welsh side who drew against the Germans. Germany with possession. Luther Berger with the ball. Edge of the D, turn from Bormann. Van der Mullen to get away to the corner for Jana Weefers. for Twin Heisen. Into the circle it goes, just wriggled the way by, will head just out with the help of the corner flag there. Positive start from Germany. One corner for Wolfram Kuntz. <laughs> Penalised there, it must have came up with his foot. And that was the signal from the umpire. Stefan Gale. It's going to be a turnover. As it stands, the Netherlands will go on to six points. Scotland have four points from there, two played, Netherlands are going to six, Scotland with four. Wales have played a couple of games, two points, they've had two draws. Germany would stay on one from there, two played, and Italy on zero, and they are about to play the third game against the Welsh after this. Germany will try and pick up at least something here. The Dutch, of course who made the final in 2015. Then it goes from no gaze again, but just cleared. The agony of the shootout in the final. Dutch themselves had a nearest semi-final in 2015, a shootout win against Spain. Into the circle again. Flick through! Oh, and it's Saved ball up here from Hulza, but a couple of three stabs at it. It felt like he was getting pushed there, the German player. But uh, Gerard van Sprang counts his lucky stars.
Turn away from Dedra Klopp. Taking the time here, or oh, took us a lot to try and find where the ball went. Well, Dilly Spack, and Van Mullen. Michael's touch, I don't know if it was intended, but picked up by Van Til. Way by Peter Roth, that's on there, right? Coaches having a good chat with each other down below us. It's just as entertaining as the intense affair we've got in this last quarter between these two. Frank Weaver now trying to tell Thomas Donner to calm down. Passionate character, the German coach. Klopp. Van Gaal. Crooning, now credited with the opening goal. Mantel just ran out of room, good. Usher out from Peter Roth. Circle way by goes. <laughs> and the Mullen ball didn't come to anyone orange, and here comes a run from Borman. But the isolated ball didn't quite fall for it. Still time left for both sides. There's a love a second goal, Van Gaal heading towards the circle. It's easily picked up. <laughs> we may stop here. Impatience keeping out. Dedrick Klopp is off for. Five. Passions have been quite high, it's pacing on the sidelines, but now the Germans have five minutes here with an extra player. And here comes Wolfram Coots. Bit urgency, a born man. Cross here for the captain, Mulgaes. Ball cut out. Hills it. Turns but ran into only the orange uh, brick wall that's been built here quickly. Trying to defend the lead, possibly perhaps now. But it might well exploit the Germans if. They do come forward with an extra player or two still in the balance. Ball forward to Berger. No one there in white. Ball 
forward, brilliant idea. Jared Boss, that was the only one making the run, just a little too much pace for him. The ball. One thing does do things like that, just heats into the five minute yellow card. Picked up by Dedra Klopp. Gets forward. To a nice and good cue then. Flicks it wide. Roth. Bit of nosebleed territory. Getting quite forward now, Roth. Wiggle from Kunt into the circle. Trying to get a flick through. Keep a has to get something on it and back to halfway it is attack against the fence at the moment it's so surprising the way that they got started the first 15 minutes like a house on fire Kunt we'll get the ball back with a free hit two and a half minutes left in the clock Kunt in, it's the flag on they thought they scored there Geltzetzer held on its way off the woodwork. He was celebrating. Close, close, close. Crowd are totally absorbed by this latter stages, particularly of this one. We're about probably 40, 45 seconds left of the yellow card. Maybe a touch more. Zapped him out with the ball, going backwards and head towards the final minutes here. Here is Dedra Klopp coming back on. So back to Lenny at 11. Germany looking for a goal. Coming together with Van Til. Or from Berger. Kunt. Well, guys. Come from Tönheisen. Tönheisen through the legs. Three hits keep coming. Not getting towards the circle. Time ticking, ticking, ticking. There we go. Roth. Forward. Kuntz. One back, and away, Van Til, seconds ticking down, taking on Roth, he's going to try and go and race into the D, it won't matter if he doesn't need to score, too late, he puts it in, but it is game over, 1-0, it will finish, the Dutch have hung on in the end, really, final quarter, Germans were still in it, after a first quarter where, in the end, Bart Kroenen being credited by the technical officers with the goal, after Lutley Van Til put it in, but 
Dutch got the goal in the 13th minute and from then it became a far more even game and in the final quarter the Germans tried to chase, tried everything they could, hit the top of the bar as well. But it is the Netherlands who have six points and two wins out of two in this pool phase in Group B in the over 60s Grandmasters European Cup. So it was a tense one, wasn't it? We'll be back in around 15 minutes' time as we have our next game from this pool on pitch one here. It is Italy who have struggled in their opening two games and Wales who have two draws so far. Both need a win to keep themselves alive and we'll bring that to you shortly. But we'll leave with the best bits from this one as the Netherlands have beaten Germany by a goal to nil. <laughs> 